Hey guys, it's Ryan with Beyond Braid. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to spool braided line to your spinning reel with no loops, twists, and no tangles, none of that chaos. And all you need is a spool of braided line, your reel, uh, something to cut with, and this tool helps, but we don't need it. I'll explain later. So the first thing you're gonna do is take your braided line and put it on, uh, tie it onto the spool, excuse me. And look, you do not need mono backing. A lot of the old timers say you need mono backing. I've been fishing for 20 years and I've never had braided line slip off the reel. That just is a myth, it doesn't exist. If you wanna put uh, mono as a backing, go ahead. You don't have to, uh, but again, this is just an easy way. If you don't have it, you do not need it. So the first thing you gotta do is take your line and put it through your first guide on your uh, rod, right? And then once we've done that, you now have to tie a knot to your reel. And this is just a simple uh, arbor knot or just like you're tying your shoelaces over under. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna go here and just take the line, do a twist and come through. You're essentially just making a loop, right? One loop, you put that around the reel and then do it again over under, just like you're tying your shoelace, literally the simplest knot ever, and then you go ahead and you pull that tight. Now this knot doesn't have to be strong. If you ever get to the point where you're down to that knot hanging on, you didn't do your job as a fisherman, that knot's gonna break no matter what knot you have on there. So what you could do, you don't actually have to cut. If you have a little uh, plier, a little trimmer, you can trim that, but what you could do is just simply pull this and it'll slip right before it comes off. And all this knot is meant to do is just hold the braid in place for when you start to spin. Now this is absolutely crucial. Spooling up your line is crucial for zero wind knots when you're casting, zero loops and tangles. A lot of people think it's the braided line's fault. It's not. It's how you spool the line is how it's gonna perform coming on and off your reel. So once you've got that in, what you're gonna do is close your bail. All you gotta do is do a couple turns to get that braided line really onto the uh, spool. You just gotta get it wrapping around a couple times, and then once it's there, you're good. See, right there, it's starting to wrap up nice and good. So you are good to go. And now what you could do is on our website, we actually sell this little line spooling kit and I'm gonna quickly explain what it does. We're actually not gonna use it in this video uh, because I just wanna show you how to spool without this, but what this does essentially has a suction cup and this puts tension on the spool, that way you don't have to hold it with your hand. The key to getting zero tangles and zero loops is to have a lot of tension when you're reeling up. Now what this tool does, it has some nuts that you can actually squeeze the spool and provide tension as it's coming off. And ideally, you want the line coming off the spool straight. But again, you don't have to do these. These aren't must-haves, these are just little tricks to improve your experience while spooling. But what you can do next, if you don't have any of that, is grab your reel. Now you want your spool label side up. That's how I've always been taught and that's what's always worked for me. And simply what you're gonna do is take your uh, whatever hand you don't reel with and put a lot of pressure on the line. And now you're just gonna start reeling up. And you're just gonna start reeling, 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 and do this very slowly, applying a lot of pressure. You could use a paper towel if you don't wanna burn your hands. Um, again, you're not gonna burn your hands if you go really slow. Just make sure you spool this up extremely tight. This is why people get wind knots or loops or tangles. It's not the braided line, guys. You could put on the trashiest braided line ever, the worst, 40 cent braided line you have. As long as you spool it up tight, it's probably not gonna get wind nuts. You're just applying that pressure and you're reeling. Applying that pressure and reeling. Applying that pressure and reeling. Nice and slow, you don't gotta rush. And what you're looking for is to fill up that spool right before it comes off the edge, probably like uh, a quarter of a centimeter. I mean, you could use your judgment. A lot of spools have a little line on it where it'll tell you where to stop. Um, but you can go ahead and put on as much as you need without over spooling the line. If you do over spool, you're gonna get tangles, you're gonna get wind knots. So make sure you don't over spool and just apply a lot of pressure. One little tip to tell if you're doing this correctly is you can go ahead and squeeze the line. If the line is not squishy and it's on there firm, you're doing your job right. Now when you get to that spot where it's just about to come off the edge of the spool, again, you don't wanna over spool, you're good to go, you spooled it up, and now you'll just clip this off and go ahead and tie on whatever lure you want. Now there's a couple more tricks that you can do to ensure you don't get loops, tangles, or wind knots. What you can do is take a really heavy lure and cast that out a few times before you put on anything else. What that's gonna do is it's gonna apply some pressure in the water, and again, just re-ensure you got a nice, tight spool. Now if you're going fishing on a boat, what you can do is actually just take your line, 
uh, spool it all the way through your guides and put it in the water and just let out the line itself, right, in the back of the boat. Let out 100, 150 yards, and then just reel it all back in the wake of the boat's gonna put some pressure on the line and allow you to spool it up a lot tighter. So those are just a couple quick tips on how to spool up nice and tight, uh, no wind knocks, no tangles, no loops. This is by far the easiest and best and simple way. Guys, keep it simple. You don't have to get so complicated when spooling your line. As long as you have a lot of tension and the line comes in correctly, you'll be good to go. I'll leave a link to this line spooling assistant down below. If you wanna use it, it's a great tool. A lot of our guys who use it absolutely love it. Also, if you wanna get any of our Beyond Braid braided line, this blue camo, or the Patriot uh, edition that we put on our reel today. You can go ahead, click the link below. I'll leave a link in the description to Beyond Braid's website. So uh, this is a quick little video on how to spool a spinning reel. If you got some value, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.